Hello my darlings, I hope you're doing very well. In today's video, I am gonna sweat my face off. It is so muggy and thick today. I don't know what's going on with the weather here in England because it's grey, but it's so warm and sweaty and sticky. And honestly, if I can make it through this video without sweating my makeup off, it's gonna be a miracle. <laughs> so yeah, if I end up looking um, very shiny throughout this video, I do apologize, um, cause you know, I've got lights on me as well, which are 300 degrees, like hot. Anyway, in today's video, it's a somewhat special TikTok reaction video because this is the 50th one. I can't believe I've made 50 of these. <laughs> like, where has the time gone? And you guys seem to still love them. So they'll obviously keep on coming. But someone commented on my last one, I think it was, to say, you know, the 50th one should be like an hour long special. So you ask, you will receive for the most part anyway. So please sit down, get comfortable, get a snack, get a beverage, get a blanket if you need one, get your pets, get something to hug and um, spend the next hour with me. Okay, I'm going to put my little earbud in so I can hear the uh, TikToks and I don't have to ruin my hair by wearing big old headphones. Going to my um, favourites. Oh my goodness, I have so many to, to react to and to catch up on. So this hour long video is very much needed. Before we get started, I of course just wanna say a huge thank you to all of you that tagged me in tattoo TikToks. I appreciate you all so much and without you, this series would not be possible. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Point of view, you ignore the TikToks about red ink tattoos. Oh, okay. <laughs> interesting so that just basically looked like it healed line work never stays as crispy and as thin once the tattoo heals it expands a little bit um but the caption says spongebob flower to ketchup splat in eight months that's just eight months healed but red ink for the most part for a lot of people is the most problematic color to heal a lot of people are allergic to red ink uh, it's just the ingredients in it and what have you. People say my tattoos will never heal well. Okay, six months healed. Oh, that's six months. I thought this was fresh. <gasps> Stop it. I thought this was fresh when we were about to see the healed version. No. Okay, well, that is absolutely gorgeous. But like I always say, six months healed is nothing in comparison to someone's lifetime. But for that to be so vibrant after it's healed and it's gone past like the scabby stage, the dry stage, the sh like shiny scaly stage where it looks a little bit scarred and what have you, for it to be that vibrant and bold and saturated still, oh my goodness. Okay, I like that as well. I've never seen a tattoo like that ever. That is gorgeous. I absolutely love it when my internet is so slow and it takes forever to download a TikTok. I just love it. I really do. I enjoy it so much. We spent the night tattooing ourselves and these were the results. Oh no, not a glove in sight. Not too bad to be honest. Oh dear. Oh, this is not good. This is just like my worst nightmare because there's literally no sanitary precautions at all. The only tattoo that I think looks somewhat okay is the eight ball. Other than that, they're an absolute hot mess. I mean, the whole situation is a hot mess. Like, can we not? This is not a flex. This is not cool, okay? Infections are not fun. They're not pretty. It's not worth it. Trust me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna be amazing. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> this is so freaking cool. This is good quality work right there. This is a bit of me. Oh, this just puts me in the Halloween mood so much. Like, I cannot wait. Oh my gosh. Do any of you have a Beetlejuice tattoo? It's so tempting, but like, I'm starting to run out of room a little bit. So it's like, mm, do I? I don't know. I really want a Hocus Pocus tattoo though. So. Oh, choose your character. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay, like, Japanese style, okay, cute, obsessed, realism, okay, nice. Oh, apprentice, cute! Oh, I think I actually, out of all of them, I think the apprentice's style is more my kind of thing. Things you don't need to apologise for 
to your tattoo artist. Moving the stencil, correct. Needing a break, correct. Having body hair, correct, we all have it. Complaining about the pain, it sucks. This is true. Not liking the design, we're used to it, it's okay. Okay. Tapping out everyone's paint on it is different, absolutely. Your body shape size, absolutely. Being nervous, we get nervous too, <laughs> that's cool. It's reassuring to know. If you want to eat snacks bonus, if you bring extra too. <laughs> this is so true. And I feel like this needs to be said. I follow quite a few tattoo artists that continuously post saying, please stop apologizing for, you know, how your body is, the way your skin is, if you have body hair, you know, like everyone is different. And that's what makes humanity great. If we all look the same, if we all had, you know, the same kind of skin type or hair type or whatever the world would be so freaking boring let's face it we could just get bored of looking at everyone like the way that we're all unique makes us special right and apologizing for how much it hurts and what have you like if you're the only thing that i will say like obviously you're allowed to say fuck this hurts but don't create such a scene to the point where you're moving making life difficult for a tattoo artist you know like obviously you can sit there and say fuck this hurts but if you start like wriggling around and you know acting a fool then you're just making life hard for the tattoo artist and yourself to be honest because it's just going to be more traumatic for you but everything else i'm like yeah i 100 percent agree with all right mate i've got your stencil ready let's see how it looks mm. well, what are you thinking mate I think maybe we could go a little bit smaller. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Watch me tattoo my own sternum stomach. What? This takes guts. This just takes something. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're even like shading and all sorts. <gasps> Wait, this is like a peacock snake mashup? That is a cool design and honestly, like, kudos to them because I could never. <laughs> Not that I can tattoo anyway, but if I could tattoo, I don't think I'd be able to do that on myself because I'm like, no, it hurts. I can't, no, we're just gonna stop right here right now. I just wouldn't be able to continue because I have the power to stop, you know? And I'm not exactly paying someone to do it for me. You know, like, I just, I just couldn't. <laughs> Maybe, well, can I? I don't know. So Toby and Kaylee are expecting, what? And they asked if I'd do a gender reveal. It's such an honor. Uncle Christine is gonna take care of this. Oh my gosh. I was going to say, I hope it's going on the um, not pregnant one because you should be tattooing a pregnant person. Is it going on the face? On the neck? Okay. Oh. Oh, that's cute. This is probably the uh, only gender reveal I've ever liked, to be honest, because I'm sorry. Like, I, I understand that it's exciting and whatever, but I just don't get it. I really don't get it. <laughs> but that's maybe because I have zero maternal instincts and zero desire to have children. So please take that into account. I'm not being hateful. It's just I don't understand. Let's celebrate having dogs, yeah? <laughs> and cats and animals. <laughs> that's what I'll be interested in. So I just finished getting my nails done and I got the stiletto shape for the first time. Like the short stiletto shape Cute. in black. Love. And I feel like the baddest bitch on the planet right now. I know there's a little bit of like black around it. I don't care. It'll come off when I wash it. Shut up. Um, <laughs> but like having these nails, it makes me want to go get a finger tattoo. Do so it. I think I'm just going to go do that right now. And I'll decide what I want on the way there. I love this. Oh, cute. I know this is going to be spicy. Fingers are pretty painful. That's so cute. I really like this design. Simple, but unique and oh, it's just cute. Oh, I love it. So sorry. What you're looking for is over there. <laughs> love that. We love a spontaneous tattoo in this house. Let me tell you. Like sometimes you just need to treat yourself to a spontaneous tattoo. Just a nice little small tattoo. Just something to boost your mood. Also, I apologize for coughing then. That was literally so involuntary. I am over COVID. I've been negative for oh gosh way over a week now but every now and then i will have an involuntary coughing fit or just a cough so if that happens again just so you know okay like covid is lingering but i'm negative it's just this yeah it's just the after effects <laughs> when you want to complain should... that the food is too cold but this is your service tattoo God, okay goodness. i need to watch it again because i was too busy reading oh it's a semicolon oh i get it i understand Oh, hundred percent. The thing is, everyone goes through struggles. And first of all, when you get food at a restaurant, it's not the server's fault if it's bad. It's you know the chef's fault or whatever. But don't take it out on the server. It shouldn't take a tattoo for someone to have compassion and you know to be nice. I guess you know everyone has struggles and what have you. And some wear it on their arms. Some don't. You know. I don't know. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, gloves on a towel or a blanket in a dressing gown fibers everywhere I mean it's kind of cute I won't lie that is kind of cute <laughs> but still can we just like it's oh, it just frustrates me so much because this person clearly has a talent for it that wasn't a bad tattoo at all 
just like do the setup correctly you know have a clean don't be tattooing on no fluffy fabric because that's just gonna get everywhere it's gonna wrap all around the needle and it's just gonna be an absolute mess and like the no gloves and it's just not sanitary you know but if there was proper steps this whole tiktok would have been hella cool and i would have been like all right cool you yeah, know but oh damn if servers acted like most tattoo artists hi what do you want <laughs> uh uh could i have a burger please <laughs> what did you see burgers on pinterest or something uh i just like burgers <laughs> Is that a problem? Do you know how many people order burgers at this restaurant? Like, are you aware of that? That must mean they're good, I guess. Uh, could I get mine without mayo or cheese? <laughs> yeah, I'm really not interested in bringing you a burger, especially one without mayo or cheese, uh, but I can bring you spaghetti. Yeah, I don't like spaghetti. I just wanted a burger. Why, why can't I have one? I mean, I can bring you a burger, but it's gonna be this big and it's gonna have mayo. Okay, can you just recommend other restaurants that sell burgers then? I can, but they're all gonna say the same exact thing. <laughs> I totally understand what they're saying 100%. I know it says in brackets, most tattoo artists, but I feel like this kind of attitude isn't the norm anymore. Uh, I, get, I might be so far removed because I always pre-book tattoos. I feel like this is more of like a walk-in situation, maybe. I don't know. You don't look like you're tattooed. I was not expecting that much. Oh my gosh. They really don't look that tattooed. It's just because there's nothing on the neck and face. Normally when you see someone that's that heavily tattooed, you see, you know, it ends up going up onto the neck, onto the face. Damn, okay. Body image issues. <laughs> Getting heavily tattooed, yes. 100%. Oh my gosh, I have never agreed with something so much in all my life. But I, I it might be the same for most people, but I just feel more myself with tattoos. I feel like if I was to have all my tattoos taken away from me, I, I, who am I? <laughs> you know, I don't want to say like my whole identity is my tattoos or anything, but they just, I, don't, I just feel more me, you know? I feel like I was born to look like this. <laughs> I got this sick tattoo yesterday. Here it is. Cute. She's peeling. And then I got a free one. It was like a buy one, get one. I'll show you that one. There's a free one. Got a free tattoo, what? and those are scabs because I've been scrubbing my skin. Something tells me that that was an accident because it, they're scrubbing their skin, so they're trying to get rid of it, right? Oh. I reacted to one like this before where someone got an accidental tattoo because the tattoo artist kind of moved and tattooed someone's shoulder or something like that. See, for, like I said in that one, for me, it wouldn't be such a big deal because I have plenty of tattoos, an extra line somewhere isn't gonna hurt, right? But when someone isn't as tattooed, oh, it's just a big, like, obviously accidents happen and, you know, when you get tattooed, you kind of take on the risk of that happening. It's rare though, but, oh, oh no, oh no. Deep breath in and out, three, two, one, just Oh, he loves it. Oh, just do it. Just get it over and done with. I beg. It's not even me. You look so brave. No, just do it. That's it. There we go. Oh, that does not look nice. Now I want to get. Oh. That looks painful. Oh, it's a contact or something. Oh. Oh no, I'm never getting my eyelids tattooed. Absolutely not. No, this has put me off for life. Well done. The whole 
doing little bits at a time, I'd be like, bitch, please, can we just do the whole thing quickly? I want this over and done with, okay? Why are we fannying about with a do do Like, I know it's gonna hurt, I know it's gonna suck, I know you're just easing me in, but please, just dunk me under the water, let's go. And that whole contact, big plastic thing in the eye, ooh, no thank you. Like, I'd never had the desire to tattoo my eyelids anyway, but this has just made me think, absolutely not. Okay, because out of all of the tattoos I have, if I was to get them lasered off, I don't think it would be as bad of an experience as that. <laughs> like, no thank you. Okay, first portrait I have done. Okay, so it's a stencil. Nah. No. 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 I get that it's maybe meant to be a Nazi star, but this looks like a very badly done realism tattoo. I get people have got to start somewhere and all of that, but you're scarring someone for life. Like this isn't doing a commission on a bit of paper. You are using people's skin as a way to progress. You know, like just practice a little bit more on second skin or something, you know? So I'm gonna start a series where I rate cringy Twilight tattoos. Yes. And when I say cringy, I mean that with so very much love and admiration. <laughs> also disclaimer, this is not me making fun of people with cringy tattoos because I am a people with cringy tattoos. Big mood. And it's not me making fun of people with a Twilight tattoo because I am a people with a Twilight tattoo. Yes. So all of these are just from the internet. Um, so if one of these is you, I love you and I think you are so sexy. <laughs> okay, so starting off strong. There. This Love was sent it. to me um, by my friend Anthony and was the inspiration for this video and I did not have words then and I don't really have them now. But let me just say that if 11 year olds were allowed to get tattoos, I would have this tattoo. Like, I'm sorry, but if you were a Twilight fan in 2009 and you're saying that you did not draw this on yourself at some point with a magic marker, I was you're a fucking in 2009. Liar. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. And the only reason it even loses one point um, is just because it's in such a visible spot. And the thought of having to explain this tattoo to every single person I encounter gives me really bad secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> 15 out of 10. Oh this is dear. literally so funny. I might tattoo this on myself. Also, just the fact that it's clearly like a home tattoo is just mm -hmm. even better. Somebody please make me a t-shirt that says this in this exact same font, please. I will pay you. Okay, number three. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack here. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. It contains my two most favorite things to both love and make fun of twilight and supernatural but i do have questions as to why it had to go together you know what i mean like i want to know why this person was like i have to get a twilight and supernatural tattoo two birds, it's one the same stone. tattoo <laughs> okay number four one million out of ten you can say literally whatever you want about this piece but you cannot tell me that this person did not sit and take this like a champ mm -hmm. like i can't even imagine how many hours this took true like literally 10 minutes into getting tattooed i'm like can i go to the bathroom so this person is cut from a different cloth also if you just want to render somebody like completely utterly speechless and you take off your shirt and you reveal to them this tattoo, they will literally never speak another word again. <laughs> they will just be pondering it for the rest of their life. Okay, that's all I got for right now. Amazing. 10 out of 10 content. I enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> Getting our tattoos touched up in the dorm. Stop it. No. Oh. What even is that? No, please don't do this. This isn't fun. It may seem fun, but like I was saying earlier, a tattoo infection is not fun. It's not worth the risk. There was literally nothing there that said, I'm clean. Nothing. Your skin is worth so much more than this. Okay. Come get my first tattoos with me. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're going for like a coat hanger heart situation. Cute. Love that. Believe in yourself. Cute. Ooh, side of the hand. That's a big commitment. Okay, fingers. Cute. They're really going in for a first time. They were like, nah, all right. For my first tattoo, we're going to get like seven because why the hell not? <laughs> I mean, that's one way of doing it. The tattoos style at the, the most minute, cliche in my tattoos. opinion, I'd say is, this is Emily quite Malice. popular is the whole uh, <laughs> prison style tattoo. Half these 
Sorry, Ben's, <laughs> Ben's in prison, you know what I mean? And it's like, you know, like trying to look sexy and dangerous when they're absolute soft boys. Kind of anything with a red outline. A lot of red lines. Anything outlined in red, just a simple shape or something. Heart outline in red it seems to be really coming back. <laughs> Mostly I've been doing a lot of butterflies in 2021. Butterflies, it's all butterflies. Butterflies. Either it's a butterfly or a little heart. Butterflies, it's all kind of a bit of a 90s revival. But I don't think they're cliched. I think they're just trends. Like I think that's that's a very legitimate tattoo to get. <laughs> it's interesting seeing tattoo trends come and go. Quite a lot of things that I didn't think would ever come back into fashion are now popular again. Like I'm seeing people get 90s tribal, cute dolphins, um, and I love it. It's nice seeing trends come back around. I feel like there's a lot of barbed wire. Barbed wire. Barbed wire. Guilty. So, at the moment, I see a lot of people doing it, and again, doing it well. The most cliche tattoo of the last 15 years, it has to be the infinity symbol, or the um, evolution of that is infinity symbol, but then it goes into bird silhouettes. So next, hands, uh, face or head. Oh, for sure, hands. Recently. He's got them and himself. what, maybe two years ago, face? Everyone wanted their face done with like no tattoos to speak of at all, and, but, and they wanted like, I don't know, like a, like a ghost from Pac-Man or something on their face. My thoughts on face tattoos, it should just be taken super, super seriously, and they're not for everybody. Tattoos in general aren't for everybody, let alone changing your face. If you're gonna do it, like make a very definite, definite decision. You want that thing on your face till the day you die because even if you laser it, there'll be remnants. A few years ago, a lot of people wouldn't tattoo people's faces because you kind of have to like jump through all these hoops of like, you haven't had your hand tattoo, so you can't get the face tattoo, or you haven't got the art, you know, you've got to do it in a certain order. But I think a lot of things have just gone out the window now and people are just unleashed to do whatever they want with their bodies. <laughs> Which I think's good, you know, like, that people should be able to do what they want. Okay, there was a lot of contradictory things there, hypocritical things there, in my opinion. There was only probably one person that was genuinely sweet, which was the person with green hair. Yeah, I don't know, that was a bit weird. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. <gasps> this speaks to the both sides of me, the spooky side and the, you know, I like cute stuff because this is all like pastel -y and glittery and just, oh my gosh, this is adorable. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> that is like one of the cutest ghost tattoos I've seen. And I have a ghost tattoo, so that's obviously my favourite one. But this is adorable. I adore my new tattoo. Oh no, where's this going? Is it gonna work? Hello? Okay. I'm about to get Rick rolled, aren't I? Oh. Fair enough. I thought it was gonna be freaking never give you up, never let you down, never desert you, whatever the freaking song is. <laughs> so that was a pleasant surprise. In December, I got a like, uh, test to, what? A tattoo, like, free test thing from ephemeral it was really hyped up my friend had just got one she was like whatever it's free i love free shit and it sounded pretty cool and like something i wouldn't hate like i'm pretty heavily tattooed so one that goes away but would be a scar like i could get that covered up let me tell you something this is the worst first of all it's like if the apple store was a tattoo shop and there's also like 40 people working there when I was there. And they all come and check in on you, talking to you, talking to you, like every five minutes. And then the ink is made out of this like fucking proprietary natural shit that's supposed to fade. But an apprentice had to come like every like 10 minutes or so or 20 minutes and like bring a fresh thing of ink because it fucking coagulates when it's exposed to the air which I think is why it healed. And like, they give you this big um, like patch to cover it that's like, sec if second skin was like a hydrochloridal patch basically. Um, and I left it on for as long as it would stay on. And then I went um, camping. Mind you, I like kept it away from the sun. I kept it wrapped with um, like, <sighs> fucking gauze or whatever 
So there was like no direct sun on it, but it started cracking and like turned brown and it was fucking disgusting. So when I got home from camping, I had to take it off. It had been on for, they want you to leave it on for nine, ten days, I think it said. It had been on for eight days. That's totally fine. Second skin, you like, for, in my experience, you leave on f for the first day, then change and leave for a week or five days. And then most of the time, second skin is totally healed or like you have a little bit of dryness and whatever, and it's totally fine. Um, this tattoo was like broken skin, crusty, like snag on your shirt, like dry skin, shedding, 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 like skin will not heal over the ink for three months. And I keep getting fucking targeted ads from them to go get one. No. And also, it looks like fucking shit, okay? I got a outline of my friend's Dinah Harley, who passed away in November. And this is not what his bike looks like at fucking all. And, like, it's not what the stencil looked like when it got put on. And it's not what it looked like before it healed. Like, all these lines, like, blew the fuck out. And it's just... Okay, the tattoo, in my opinion, doesn't... I mean, it's not what they wanted. So, yeah, I understand the disappointment. But I was expecting it to be, like, super faded, really patchy. But it's a lot more saturated than what I thought. But the whole process of these tattoos... I don't know. It's like... I understand the appeal. I understand why someone would go for one of these tattoos, 100%. If you don't know, the ugh, they even just said it, and I never know how to say it. Ep epermal, have ephemeral, <laughs> ephemeral, I don't know. Um, but they're meant to not last that long. They're meant to sort of fade within sort of two, three years or what have you. Uh, they use, like they just said, a special ink, and it sort of dilutes itself and disappears after so many, you know, years or months or whatever but uh, I don't know I personally don't think I would do it I mean part of me wants to do it just to go through the experience because it's something different than getting a regular tattoo or what have you so I'm kind of like mm, maybe I would but another part of me is like mm, I don't know I don't know if I trust it it just mm, I'm seeing a lot of people have kind of bad experiences with it and stuff so let me know your thoughts and opinions on that. Would you go for one of these tattoos? A lot of people have a an opinion of, well, if you want to get tattooed, just get tattooed. You know, tattoos are a commitment. You're meant to earn your tattoos. I don't believe in that kind of thing. Um, I feel like, you know, someone might just want to have a tattoo for a little while just to go through the experience or whatever, you know. But, mm, seems a bit dodgy. Oh my goodness, the state of my cup. There is just lipstick all over it. Yes, I'm drinking Pepsi Max, leave me alone. <laughs> Okay, I have officially, from this moment, been recording for an hour, okay? Now, obviously, once I've edited and stuff, God knows where it, it where I am in the video, right? But it's taken so long to download these freaking TikToks because my internet is so freaking slow. Can we yeah, see your so tattoo? so first I'll show you kind of what I wanted and then versus what I ended up getting. And by getting, I mean that he just kind of did whatever the heck he wanted on my arm and I'll explain more about the whole okay. the whole thing because the whole interaction, the whole appointment was rough. Okay, so I can't find the actual picture I sent him because I um, got a new Facebook since, since them or since uh, talking with him. But this is kind of the style I wanted. No shading, just, just clean line work. And it was supposed to go from sorry from he, like here to just about here like kind of above my my dog tattoo this is kind of okay. sort of the style i was going for too i sent him a lot of pictures of like the different types of tropical leaves that i really wanted incorporated in there and he did not uh do really any of the leaves that i specifically asked for so a little bit about the actual appointment um First of all, I sent him my reference pictures like two weeks prior to my appointment. Um, and when I got to the appointment, he had nothing drawn up. He didn't, he didn't even know what, he didn't remember even what I wanted. And remind you, this was f a birthday present. So it was like the only thing I got for my birthday. Every single person in my life just paid for this, like helped pay towards this tattoo. When I got there, he took two and a half hours to set up. I don't know what the heck he was doing. He, he did not spend the whole time drawing up a tattoo because he ended up freehanding the tattoo. And this is where I should have 
seen the red flags. I saw the red flags, but I didn't say anything. All of my other tattoos that I have are, were stencils because they are line work, no shading. But he kept telling me, trust the process, like, you know, and he's a professional, so why wouldn't I believe him? I have never gotten like a big tattoo before, so I thought that this was how it worked. This, I thought this was how everybody did it. As he's drawing, I'm realizing that the elements are quite large, but he kept telling me that he was drawing the large elements and then would incorporate smaller elements in them. So like I said, I trusted the process. I had seen pictures of his other work and it wasn't bad, so I just, I just trusted him. So now I'll show you what I ended up with. So this was what my arm looked like immediately after no. the appointment. Very dark. I asked for no shading oh, and he no. shaded a lot. And he did tell me, oh, I'm just going to shade a little because I'm worried that you won't be able to tell what it is. And I was like, okay, very minimal shading. I'm fine with that. But this is not minimal at all. I just want to see, I just want you guys to see how the flow of the tattoo makes no sense. And you'll see in the back, I had stopped him from going any further because I was not liking it. This is what it looks like now after eight sessions of laser removal. Oh. I am running out of time, so I will have to kind of make a part two explaining the the whole thing, how it went, went wrong. I am shook if, okay, yeah, there were major red flags there. It does not take two hours to set up ever. Never, ever, ever. I would say maximum, I don't know, it depends on so many factors. Is the artist breaking down from a previous client and all of that, but... The, the maximum you should probably wait is like half an hour maybe freehanding thing i totally understand a lot of artists do freehand i don't see a red flag in that at all um but i feel like an artist should have at least some inspiration pictures up somewhere printed out on an ipad just so they kind of know what they're doing and the kind of vibe and what the client wanted right like a little reminder or what have you the fact that it's so big and this person just wanted you know on the like shoulder area I mean, first of all, if someone was drawing, like, I don't want to blame the client here at all because, you know, but another part of me is like, well, you asked for here, but then the tattoo artist is drawing down here. So, you know, there's going to be tattoo down here. You know, like you should have maybe said something and said, why are we down here? I only wanted here. But then if an artist is saying like, trust the process and what have you, it sounds like the artist was kind of, what's the word, taking advantage of them a little bit you know like abusing their power basically that's what i'm trying to say or and the shading as well like if a person asks for just line work and you feel like you have to shade to make it look a bit more readable then why are you even a tattoo artist it's very easy from the reference photos we can see it's very easy to do line work leaves and it be readable okay like it's not that hard let's see if we can find another part to this oh my gosh there's so many parts Oh no, oh gosh. Oh god, there is so many. Like, I will end up making this video like two hours if I go through all of these. The fact that they've had to have laser sessions as well, and there's like eight sessions, so this has been an ongoing process for a while because, you know, to get laser, you have to, you obviously have a laser session, let it all heal, go back, and that's been going on for like eight sessions. So that's what, over maybe a year's worth of an ordeal. This is why... Again, I don't want to blame this person at all, but this is why you have to speak up and say, this is not what I wanted. Otherwise you end up in this situation. So the tattoo, <clears throat> if I remember correctly, it was like 700 something, maybe more than that. Um, and then I also tipped him. I know, I'm stupid. As far as I know, um, he doesn't know that I'm getting it removed, but um, only because like he hasn't said anything to me message me on facebook you know nothing at all um so i mean the likelihood of him knowing one way or the other like somebody telling him or maybe he saw these videos personally um is very high because i know people talk in this town and i already know it's been happening so i'm sure he does know that i um am getting it removed and talking about it on here but he as far as him reaching out or confirming that in any kind of way he has not done that and I hope he doesn't because this is not, I did not post this for drama. I did not post it to call him out or to make him pay. I really posted it honestly just to answer one, somebody's question and two, because I was tired of hiding it and tired of being embarrassed by it and trying to cover it all the time. And three, to kind of maybe prevent somebody else from making the same mistake that I did.
hundred percent. Like I totally understand why you would want to make TikToks like this, just to make awareness, and it's to show you know these things happen. And, you know, there are tattoo artists out there that just don't care and they'll just do what they like because, you know, who cares about a client's opinion, right? Okay, I found the part two, finally. Okay, part two of my horrible tattoo. If you didn't see part one, I asked for a botanical, line work, minimalistic style tattoo that would kind of go over my shoulder and onto my forearm or onto my... Uh, bicep area. I asked for no shading. These are just reference pictures, by the way. Something similar to this, just line work, very minimalistic, because all my other tattoos are like, this is what I ended up with. Here's another photo. The dog was done before. These are just the leaves. Okay, so things that went wrong during the appointment. First of all, he took two and a half hours to set up um, for no reason. I sent him reference pictures two weeks before my appointment. He had absolutely nothing drawn up and he had even forgotten what I even wanted. This was the first big tattoo that I had gotten, so I kind of trusted what he was doing, even though all of my other work has been with a stencil, he was just kind of drawing on my arm. <laughs> and I thought it was weird because he was drawing on my arm with highlighter, not like anything that he could even see. So after two hours of doing whatever the heck he was doing before the tattoo, he finally started. I wasn't even really sure if I liked the stencil, or I mean the, the drawing that he put on, so I said something and he reassured me that he would be adding smaller elements and that I would like it and da 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 and that he thinks it'll work better the way he was doing it. I told him no shading. He said that he will have to shade because then you won't be able to tell what it is. And I said, okay, but I want it very minimal because I want it to go with my other tattoos. So this was a long process. This was the longest tattoo that I've ever sat for. When I first went in, you know, considering what I had sent him, um, I did not think it was going to take a long time at all. I thought max like three hours because it was just line work. And I thought he was going to do a stencil, be really e easy. And he made the tattoo way bigger than I initi initially wanted. Like I said, it's not all his fault because I should have spoken up more. I should have been more stern. But um, just the whole situation was very new to me and very uh, odd. So first off, he had the heaviest hand I've ever experienced. Um, I'm talking, he would just go over the line, over the line, over the line, over the line, over and over and over. And I have scars from it, actually. So the whole tattoo, he wasn't even, he didn't, he wasn't even nearly finished and it took 11 hours the first session. After the session, I thought I was going to pass out when I stood up. I, I felt horrible. Then he tells me, oh yeah, you're really not supposed to go over like six, seven hours per session, but since you could handle it, I just kept going. And I'm like, uh, that's not, a uh, whatever. So during the tattoo, I kept looking over and I was like, Ugh, I don't really know, like, I, you know, and he was like, it'll come together, it'll come together, trust the process. Eventually, I just stopped him because I wasn't liking it one and because after 11 hours, I was not wanting to go any further and he kept telling me he was not even close to being done. So not only did he mess up this tattoo, but he put a line through my other tattoo I already had and he nearly put a line through another tattoo that I had. Okay, I guess I'll make part three about everything I don't like about the tattoo. There is just too many red flags. Like, you had a brief, okay? Every tattoo artist needs to stick to the brief. For the most part, obviously, they can put in their professional touches or their professional opinions if someone's asking for too much in such a small tattoo and all of that. Like, a tattoo artist is allowed to advise, of course. Um, but you, like... I'm not a tattoo artist. I'm not even an artist in any way, shape or form. But I feel like I could have done a much better job than this tattoo artist. I could have easily drawn up some very crappy um, line work leaves and compiled a stencil, okay? It's not that hard. I believe, you know, a five-year-old could be given a brief of, hey, I just want you to draw some lines of leaves, make it into sort of like a, a shape that will go around my shoulder cap arm area and have at it, right? How do you how do you not understand the instructions? It wasn't even complicated. This isn't an IKEA instruction manual, love. It's literally so simple. Whoever this artist is, they just step away from the machine because you cannot follow simple instructions. Like that's part of your job. I'm gonna leave this part, okay? Because there is a lot of TikToks there. What I will do is leave a link to this person's TikTok. Um, profile. So if you want to see more about the whole situation, then please do. But I feel like we should move on. Otherwise, I'll literally be here for hours. <laughs> I want to start this video out with a formal apology. Just kidding. Um, I will be reading reviews of a tattoo artist that was recently outed for being transphobic. 
This will completely be anonymous. I will not be stating her name, her shop, nothing. Do not, do not tag her for some quick- Okay, I'm gonna pause it there because I wish you would <laughs> because if someone is being problematic, I feel like they should be named and shamed, okay? That's just me, personally. I'm not saying we go on a witch hunt. I'm just saying we need to be aware, well, people like me need to be aware of who these people are because one, I don't ever want to get tattooed by someone like that, ever. So I don't want to mistakenly come across this person or any tattoo artist like this and be like, yeah, I'll get tattooed by you, blah, blah, blah. And then later on down the line, find out they're a horrible person and then I have a tattoo by them. Like that's my worst nightmare. So I wish we would name and shame people. I personally don't think there's anything wrong with it. I'm probably in the wrong here, but I want to know who these people are, okay? I want to make sure people know who these people are. So people with beliefs of, you know, not wanting to support transphobic people, racist people, homophobic people, whoever, you know, we have the option to stay clear of people like this, right? Am I in the wrong here? Do correct me if I am, but I, I, I wish we knew who it was, you know? Quick context, this notoriously bad tattoo artist recently misgendered a client of hers. When she was called out on it, she deleted the video, she deleted the comments, and she started mocking them over and over and over again, along with her followers in her comment section. So I may or may have not uh, redrawn one of her really bad tattoos, and she got a little mad about it. And then she compared her 11 year experience really bad tattoos to mine, three months tattoos of not a really good look. So today I will be reading her shop reviews. If you happen to know where she works, don't leave a bad review. Unless you've had a genuine experience, don't review bomb her. Now she has a lot of bad reviews and I only have three minutes. So I'll only be reading the ones that are most important as in the ones where her clients caught her committing health code violations. Okay, seven months ago, the day before my tattoo, she changed my appointment time. Luckily it worked out better for me. We were on vacation five hours from her establishment. We almost missed the shop while looking for it. It was a very hole in the wall. It doesn't look anything like it does on TikTok. I was going in for her TikTok famous $100 blindfold tattoos. You get what you pay for. The check-in process was a joke. She was late even though she picked up my time. She showed up with food and boxed wine. During my appointment, they were offering wine no. or margaritas to the clients. She did my tattoo live on her TikTok. Before she went live, I was asking how her, her how business was going with TikTok fame. She was very cocky. I've been tattooing for over 10 years. I've already created a name for myself. TikTok didn't bring me fame. <laughs> She wasn't very friendly, but as soon as she turned on the camera, she was polar opposite and so sweet. Luckily, me and my friend got tattoos we like, but the ink is falling out and we are going to have to go to a local artist for touch-ups already. Oh my god. And after we left, I got on TikTok and she was still alive and we witnessed her drinking herself. I had been telling all my friends about her and was bringing potential business, but after telling them my experience, none of us will go there. <sighs> Oof. Extremely weird atmosphere and practices going on here. If you want a backyard style tattoo from an artist that throws ethics out the window while patronizing other shops in the area, this is the spot for you. There's an infected koi fish tattoo. It doesn't say who did it, but um, they reached out to them and they said they would do the research and get back to them. Um, you're, you're, you don't have to do research. You're a tattoo artist. You should know what to do when a tattoo is infected. Why are you researching and not responding to this person? Two weeks ago, absolutely horrible and dirty shop. Multiple health code violations already reported to the health inspector. Not sure how they operate legally and the chairs are supposed to be wrapped when in use and not torn. Red flag germs and diseases build up on porous material, especially crevices of torn, cut, and ripped fabric. Hepatitis and cross contamination waiting to spread. This artist is an alcoholic and a fake person, extremely rude and has a big head thinking that she's the best of the best and far from it. She's never on time. I'm out of time and I have so much more, but Jesus fucking Christ. This, this isn't this isn't good. She could hospitalize somebody or even worse, she should not be allowed to stay. That was a lot. It sound, oh God. I couldn't think of anything worse than going to an artist that's that arrogant and cocky and two-faced and then to be serving alcohol in case you don't know you're not meant to drink alcohol at least 24 hours before getting a tattoo because it can thin your blood and it just it's a whole mess and then if you're intoxicated while getting tattooed there's a chance that you don't you don't know like you could be a lot more fidgety bad vibes all around tattoo my name on you so i know you really love me oh no me, I'll do you one better. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, that's kind of sweet. The only thing, it, oh, it's just the risk, you know? Like that is obviously a very sweet tattoo and it's not as personal as a name. So should you go into another relationship, you can kind of pass it off as just some random eyes, right? 
but it's still that's quite a part like it's not like a full portrait i guess how do you feel about that kind of tattoo do you feel like it's better than a name tattoo or a full portrait tattoo or do you feel like it's a bit like i don't know like oh i i never had a relationship tattoo and i don't know if i would ever get one just because you know the curse and what have you mm, i don't know she wanted a transformation. Oh, this is going to be spicy. That's pretty cool, though. Ooh. I like it. I do like that. Mainly because it's, like, spooky. I get, like, horror vibes from it and what have you. But it's a decent tattoo. My baby. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, please let me see this finish, please. Yo. That is so freaking pr Stop it, look at that. Oh, look. So I imagine that's obviously not finished because the flowers haven't been finished or anything. Well, maybe it is, I don't know, but it looks somewhat unfinished, but Grogu baby yoda the child whatever you want to call him right looks adorable i don't know if you can tell i'm a fan i'm 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 very much a fan <laughs> Fine okay, 2019. Line, incredibly detailed minuscule tattoos on my for you page and they're so pretty do not get me wrong i want to see it let's go but i just want to see one of those like a year out like fully healed oh no Oh, I want to see it all jumbled unreadable. together and mushed up and faded oh. together. I, I want to see the smudge. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's mushed together right there. But that's what line work does. And this shows that, you know, like we can all pretend that it doesn't happen, but it happens to every single tattoo. Line work does expand once it's healed and what have you. It's just one of those things. I think I've got another one here. I do. Oh my god, I'm excited. Let's go. I keep seeing okay, we've got five years fine later one. Line, incredibly detailed, minuscule tattoos on my for you page, and they're so pretty. Do not get me wrong, but I just want to see one of those like a year out, like fully healed. I want to see it all okay. jumbled together and mushed but, up and faded together. Do we get to see what it used I, to I look like? See this or... It does say in the caption, it's a Taurus constellation. So I'd imagine, again, the line work was pretty thin and what have you. So, oh dear. Tattoo gone wrong. So I got a tattoo yesterday. Oh no. And it's awful. My friend had an appointment yesterday with this artist and hers came out good. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to do a get what you get. And as you can see on my last video, I got Shrek but I respawn and I got a knife and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Oh. I got my money back, so that's not the problem. Okay. I messaged the shop owner instead of the artist because I knew that it was going to be kind of, you know, weird. So little did I know is that if you're an apprentice, which she was, is that you are not supposed to work on hands. You were only supposed to work on arms and legs. Mm -hmm. And there was nobody else in the shop. She was the only one there. And she did my fucking hand. And here's another picture for shits and giggles. The knife is backwards. Why is the blade pointing that way and not this way? I have a cover-up schedule, so we're fine. It's bad, but I feel like it could be rectified if you were to get someone that's, you know, been tattooing for a little bit longer, was to just go over the line work. Yes, you'll have the line work appear a lot more thicker, but I feel like with the really work, that could be okay like it's it's not the best but i've seen a lot worse and i feel like that is easily rectifiable personally but yeah the apprentice probably should have stayed away from that <laughs> no my tattoos all show women in pain because it was an allegory for me unable to express my femininity before i was able to come out as non-binary and i also hate women no, my tattoos all show women in pain because it was an allegory I, for me every I, single tattoo there is on Pinterest. I can see one that I've talked about plenty of times, which is a Johnny Gloom knockoff right there on their lower stomach. Why? You guys know what genre of music sucks? Swag rock.
Like, honestly, why? Why would you continue to get tattoos that have already been done a thousand times because no one has any originality and sees something on Pinterest or Instagram and think, yeah, you know what, I'll just take that. I just, it's so annoying. Like, <sighs> I'm always like, you know what, do what you want with your body, but please don't take other people's artwork. We've got some bleach. Oh, this is cool. I love this. I have seen a couple of these on Instagram. But the fact that I feel like no one's done this before, like this is the first kind of time I've seen this kind of thing before. Because when I was younger, people would shave the side of their hair, bleach it, and then put leopard um, like spots on them with dye. But this is so, fr whoa. This is so freaking cool. This looks amazing. So this is one way of tattooing your head without actually tattooing your head. Because when you have to tattoo your head, you have to shave your head anyway. So instead of making that huge commitment, just shave your head and get a dye job. And it's less painful, apart from the bleach. Bleach can be kind of painful. <laughs> Go and get that stupid tattoo you always wanted. Are we tattooing on a bed, in a bedroom? You only live once. Yes, but you won't if you get a bad infection now. We're Is that a laptop? Ew. Oh, I know that was not fun. As someone that has just had their palm tattoo, I know that was not fun. And to do that on yourself, first of all, can we just... I'm sorry, but nobody's laptop is clean, okay? Like, that's disgusting. Why are you tattooing on a laptop? I can't... Ew, your fingers touch it all the time and dust and dirt and... Ew. No, but to tattoo your own palm, Ooh, that, that takes something. I will give them credit for that. Trust me, as someone that got it done by a professional, okay? To tattoo it yourself, I could never. I literally, there is not enough, well, maybe for a million pound I would do it. But <laughs> normally I would say there is not enough money in the world because, oh, yikes. They've posted another one where they're about to touch it up. So I think we should watch that. Touch up my adult swim tattoo with me. The thing is, because they did it themselves and they're not a professional, they did pretty well to get that to stick as much as it did. Okay, we're not on the laptop anymore. Oh, no, wait, that does look awful. It did look pretty bad. <laughs> At first I was like, wow, that actually stuck pretty well. They did a pretty good job, but on closer inspection, it looks pretty bad. <laughs> Went and got my mum bite mark tattooed on me. No, stop. Really? This isn't a joke, it's actually happening. Why? I just wanna know why. Oh, oh, I don't know. Like most people get, you know, flowers for their mum tattooed on them or something, or something that their mum likes, or, you know, just the word mum in a heart, you know? This is definitely unique, so I'll give them some bonus points for that because I have never seen anything like that. And I don't know. Why a bite mark though? I don't understand the bite mark. Like, there must, is there a backstory to this or something? Because I don't know, like I'd understand maybe, you know, fingerprints or a handprint or something like that, but a bite mark? It's very weird. But you know, they're happy. That's all that matters. <laughs> okay, they did make a reply to one of the comments saying why. So let's see if we find out why. I am honestly just intrigued, not in a rude, judgmental way. I'm just like, why? Like, I want, I want to know why. So, this comment got like 150,000 likes. Why? Why you get that tattoo, Cinco? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's cool. I seen some other TikToks about it. And I was just like, yo, that's dope. And I wanted to get something to like resemble my mom. And I didn't want to get like her birthday or like her name. So I was like, yeah, the bite mark. The bite mark's the one. And I was in Ogden at the time. My friend Destiny is working like one street over and it was pretty impulsive. I just said, yo, Destiny, are you, are you, are you working right now? She's like, yeah. And I was like, okay, mom, you want to go do something instead of watch these fireworks? She's like, what is it? Said, Don't worry about it, mom. She said, okay. And I pulled up to that tattoo, the tattoo shop. And at the time, my mom did not even know what I was going to get. 
and then Destiny sanitized me and whatnot. And then she said, You ready? Look over at my mom and say, Fight me, mom. And she bit the hell out of me. <laughs> and it was just so fun, so funny. All three of us were laughing super hard, and it was just such a good time. But to sum it up, it was just cool. And I think it's even more cool that my TikTok that got me up to 2 million likes. Like, thank you guys. And if you watch this TikTok all the way through, thank you too. But I'm about to work out. So I hope this one satisfies you guys' um, question to why I got the tattoo. And Cinco out. Toodles. <laughs> they seem so freaking sweet. Oh. See, now I have more context and understanding. It was basically a YOLO <laughs> moment for them. And I'm honestly all about it. And I'm glad that I watched that TikTok and now I understand it a bit more. And I, I can't be mad at it. Still a bit strange, but I understand now, you know? Okay, I have been recording for one hour and 49 minutes. So I'm hoping I have enough footage to make this TikTok video at least an hour long. Um, I'm gonna react to one more and then, yeah, mama has to go and eat and stop sitting under these horrific sweaty lights. <laughs> Would you explain your tattoos, man? Yeah, man. Um... Each one of these represents a time I had a couple hundred bucks in my pocket. I'm thinking about getting my first tattoo. Ah, <laughs> do it. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just do it? Just do it. Does it need to mean something, or is Absolutely it I'm just going to get addicted to it? No, you're going to get addicted no matter what, and it doesn't need to mean shit, so. You got an idea? You think you're a part of an idea? Go talk to a tattoo artist, man. They'll get you there. A hundred percent. That is pretty much the advice I would give absolutely anyone. If you want a tattoo, you feel like it has to be meaningful, not really. A lot of people do have meaningless tattoos just because they like whatever it is. You don't have to overthink it. I feel like a lot of people overthink their first couple of tattoos, which is fine. It's understandable because when you are sort of growing up, you're kind of told by people that don't have tattoos, you know, tattoos have to be meaningful. They're so permanent and they seem a lot more scarier than what they actually are. I have a mixture. I have tattoos that are are meaningful and I have tattoos that are not meaningful but my first oh god a lot of tattoos weren't actually that meaningful I don't think I started getting meaningful tattoos until I was a lot older to be honest with you oh boy there's so much hair going on over here my hair is so thick like it has no business being this thick I don't know when it become this thick ever since I started looking after it I think <laughs> It's just, it just, I don't know what it, it's doing its own thing. How much am I sweating? Only a little bit, that's nice. Anyway, I'm so grateful if you watched the whole of this video and you're still here. Thank you so much. I highly appreciate you. And um, yeah, okay, until my next video, <laughs> bye.